Good morning, and welcome to episode 122 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Last week, Chairman Jerome Powell and the Federal Open Market Committee raised key interest rates by a quarter percentage point, and in so doing, they also took out some key language in their statement that opens the door, as many think, to a pause in interest rate increases going forward. Uh, Everybody's kind of split right now as to whether or not there'll be another quarter point interest rate increase next FOMC meeting, but the door is open for them to pause something we've seen coming for some time. That is all so last week, though, because this week, all that matters and everything that dominates the headlines is the debt ceiling talk and whether or not Republicans and Democrats will come together and raise the debt ceiling to keep the U.S. government from defaulting. Yesterday, uh, President Biden met at the White House with Kevin McCarthy, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, and Hakeem Jeffries to go ahead and iron things out. Both Democrats and Republicans are far apart as Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, warns of a June 1st deadline. If the debt ceiling is not increased, she expects the U.S. will start to default on payments as of June 1st. Democrats want a clean debt ceiling bill. They basically want to raise the debt ceiling with no strings attached whatsoever. And the Republicans want significant cuts uh, in the budget in order to approve a debt ceiling increase. And my question to you is, what else is new? We've seen this 78 times in the past. The party in power wants to go ahead and continue spending money on whatever they want to spend on, and the party that's not in power wants to stop spending on things they don't want to spend money on. And in the end, they all agree to go ahead and raise the debt ceiling, and they both keep spending money we don't have. Let's take a look and see what that has done to prices of precious metals. Uh, The prices today are going to be as of 11 a.m. Tuesday, 11 a.m. yesterday. Uh, Gold at 2,026.10 an ounce. That's up four-tenths of a percentage uh, point from 2017.40 last week. Silver's up 0.8% of 1%, eight-tenths of a percent, to $25.56 an ounce from $25.35 last week. Platinum is up one and two-thirds percent to 1,098 an ounce versus 1,080 an ounce last week. And palladium is the big winner at 9.2% increase to 1,656 an ounce from 1,517 an ounce last week. With silver slightly outperforming gold, the number of ounces of silver it takes to buy an ounce of gold, the gold-silver ratio has dropped slightly to 79.54 versus 79.86 last week. And the U.S. dollar is virtually unchanged. Coming in today at 101.67, where it was 101.60 last week. So we all hang in the balance as the Democrats and Republicans duke it out, trying to figure out if we will raise uh, the debt ceiling for the 79th time in U.S. history. My point is, it's going to happen. It always does. Nobody wants the big headline default. Um, They much rather go ahead and raise the debt ceiling, still not make payments on things that they they need because we can't afford it, just increase the amount of debt we're willing to take on. And in my opinion, that is one type of default. It weakens the currency in the long term, and that's what it's been doing for years, and that's the route we will go sometime before June 1st, and we'll keep you posted. In the meantime, I want you to go ahead and subscribe and like us on YouTube. Send us your comments and questions. Subscribe to our social media. Subscribe to our newsletter and alert service. But whatever you do, especially amidst all this craziness about the debt ceiling, don't ever forget that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.